Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of my What's New on the High Street series. So this should have gone up on Tuesday but I swapped them around so there was a next haul on Tuesday. Did you guys watch that? Let me know below if you enjoyed that one. Today is a new What's New on the High Street episode. If you are new here, hello, my name is Jess. It's so lovely to have you here. Thank you for joining me. Basically my What's New on the High Street series is every week I show you my favourite pieces that are on the High Street. I don't necessarily keep everything it's more just to show you guys what there is on the high street yeah so you guys get a rough idea of what i'm loving on the high street in case that gives you some ideas as with every video just let me know which are your favorite pieces which pieces you think i should take back immediately and which pieces you're like oh my god they're amazing buy it in every color but one thing that's happening which i'm absolutely loving is you guys are messaging me on instagram i will put my instagram below being like ah i need a coat to wear to work do you have any suggestions of like office wear do you have any idea what i should wear to my sister's wedding so i'm trying to include pieces that you guys have asked me for in dms in these hauls in case that's helpful i've had so many messages in the past couple of weeks about more formal smart coats because obviously i show a lot of fluffy coats people can't wear them to work <laughs> I would. So I've got a few more formal coats for you guys today. But yeah, it's always so lovely for me if you guys message me saying, which jumper do you like? Should I buy this one or this one? What size should I get this one in? I'm so happy to reply to you all. So either pop any questions below in the comments or just message me on Instagram. And I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, but quickly go through what I'm wearing today. I'm so sorry. I'm like a literal serial repeater of this jumper. I've worn it so much. It's Honestly, one of my favorite jumpers. I literally wore this in another color in my next haul. I just love them so much. So this is from H&M, I will link it below. This is in the gray, the one I wore in my next haul was like an oatmeal color and they've got lots of different colors. It's the perfect fit for me. I love the neck, love everything about it, love where it tucks in. I'm wearing my top top straight leg jeans today. <laughs> Someone left a comment on my video the other day on my next haul just being like, are you ever not gonna wear jumpers and jeans? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> start off with coats I wanted to dive straight in with this one so oh my god it's heavy why is it heavy oh this is a heavy item of clothing this has just arrived from ASOS and this I haven't tried on yet but this is a formal smart coat but with a gorgeous gorgeous pattern on it it's kind of got that dog tooth pattern but with a burgundy and like a brownie color and a beige so it feels like really good quality I thought this would be really good if you wanted something a bit more formal a bit smarter than all of the pink fluffy coats they show you but you also wanted that pop of color oh let's just pop it on my shoulders just to show you the color oh yes i love this this is gorgeous i would also wear this dressed down with a pair of jeans and a slouchy jumper so i think this is a great all-rounder of a coat let me just put it on i've got this in a 38 so that's what it looks like on it's really structured on the shoulders which i like i think that looks really really smart let me just go up on my trusty chair and show you the length so it's really long, it is below the knees, which is lovely. It's like a duster style coat. Quite rare to get a coat that long now that I would love, but I'm really liking this. What do you guys think? It's got the blazer vibe, but obviously it's a long line coat. It's got pockets, which are sewn up, so I can't put my hand in, but they feel quite big. It's double breasted, it's very smart. I really like this. What are your thoughts? Let me know. What do you think? It is heavy though. God made of rock who knows right next up i'm just going to whisk through these two coats because these were in my next haul this is the perfect like formal coat that you can wear day to day but it's also such a great coat to wear to work or if you wanted something slightly smarter for an evening event it's just really nice and tailored really structured i absolutely love it it's got a cute little zip detail <laughs> here just giving myself a pat on the back but um boom -tsh. it looks really cute with this gray jumper as well this is just such an all-rounder coat i would get so much use out of this gray goes with everything even clashing it with a different color gray looks really cute so yeah this is what this one looks like and i will show you the length just above the knee this one you can just picture this over a suit if you're going out in the evening it's really cold just wrap up with a big scarf you want to look smart you've got a nice dress on perfect this is perfect and it's such a good coat for day to day as well so yeah those are my formal coats and then another coat i want to just slip in here is this one i just really wanted to get this in the haul <laughs> because it was in my next haul but i just love it so much and you guys seem to love it so it is a teddy bear coat but it's so like it's not overly fluffy if that makes sense so it still looks really smart i think and it's 
a really nice colour. It's like a perfect gingerbread colour. Perfect for going into Christmas. It's got fleece in the pocket, so it's like putting your hand in mittens. And it's got really nice detailing on the back. It gives you a bit more of a definition on the back. Now over to a very fun little coat. It's a little over the top. But sometimes you need that in your life. I think that's important. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, it's this fluffy number. I got it on ASOS. And oh my god, guys. It's incredible. It is just so fashion. It is just so ridiculous. It's fluffy. It's zigzagged. It's oh amazing. You look like a really confused bird. Let me just put it on for you. Ow, I just hit myself in the head with the label. So it's like a bomber jacket style. Oh, my jumper's stuck up in here. So yeah, this kind of style of coat is so hot right now. Everyone's making them. Top Top have them in loads of different colours as well. But I just wanted to go for the most over the top one to show you guys. I just love this. I love it so much more than I think I would. I can just picture myself now ice skating around Somerset House. Little black skirts some white tights. Bobble hat. Absolutely love it. What do you guys think? Is this way too much? Don't answer that. I know what you're going to say. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Oh, actually, pause. I know that this isn't a smart coat haul, but there is one other coat that I want to show you just before I forget. Okay, it's this coat. I bought this in my haul week, so a while ago. I bought this in the beginning of September, and it's one of my most worn purchases. This is the perfect, like, smart coat. It's a bit oversized fit from H&M. It's camel coloured, as you can see. It's double breasted. It's beautiful. It's really, really good quality. I think it was quite expensive, maybe like £70, but it's got a special type of material that makes it worth that price. I want to say some form of wool, but I can't remember, and I've taken all the labels out because I've worn it all the time, but I absolutely love this coat and it just looks so cool with everything. I highly recommend that one. Okay, right, that's coats done. I'm done with coats. Let's move on to, well, I'm, I'm just gonna show you this skirt really quickly. Why not? So this is a little corduroy skirt. I don't have anything in this color at the moment, and I love this. I picked this up in a medium. I think it's from Bershka, yes, and it's cord corduroy cord whatever and I really like this color I thought this would look really cute with a gray jumper and a black leather jacket and some black tights I haven't tried this on yet but it isn't a medium so hopefully it should fit me and not be too small okay so I'm in I am actually quite shocked at how tight it is from medium this is really really small I'm a size 10 but I don't think it should be this tiny unless a medium is a size 10 in which case fine all right I'll show you how short it is it is quite short, not gonna lie, but I really like this colour combination. I think it's just a bit different from always wearing some form of denim. So yeah, I really, really like this. And this would look so cute as an outfit like that or with the grey coat. Oh, and with this. Sorry, I have so much fun filming these videos. I'm like, oh, look at this. Like that. Really, really cute little outfit. What do you guys think about this one? Do you like the colour? One thing I absolutely hate about it is how shallow the pockets are. I'm not sure if you can see, but I can only get like my fingers in the pocket. And I like carrying like my phone in my pocket. I mean, it does have a back pocket, which is slightly bigger. You can get your whole hand in. But yeah, these are annoying. Do you remember a few videos ago, I showed you some Topshop tracksuit bottoms. Um, they were grey. They were my life. They were so big and baggy and oversized and amazing. They also did them in red, but I couldn't find them in red in my size. And I was so upset about it. I still can't find them in red, but I have found them in cream and I have got them in a size small again, which is what the gray ones were, but apparently these ones are slightly more fitted. So I'm gonna try them on. They're like a 90s jogger style. They're kind of channeling what you would wear to school when you were like four, which I am so down for. I'm gonna try these on. They look huge though, not gonna lie. So we'll see if they're any different from my gray ones. If they're not, if they're the same fit and size, then I'm probably gonna take them back. Okay, so I think they're probably the same size. I don't know why I thought they'd be bigger. The red ones are definitely thinner. I'm still on the hunt for those. If anyone sees the red 90s joggers from Topshop in a size small, send me the link, <laughs> please. These are what these ones look like. I kind of really like the color. It's a bit different to have like a cream colored pair of tracksuit bottoms. I mean, I get them so dirty. They are so comfortable. These are honestly the most comfortable tracksuit bottoms I've ever, ever bought. And I am such a hardcore fan of tracksuit bottoms. I'm one of those people that when I come through the front door, clothes go off, tracksuit bottoms or pajamas straight on, like within seconds. Is anyone else like that? Or do you come home, stay in your clothes for a bit, get changed for your pajamas for bed? Or are you literally, I'm home now, you know? 
That's what I'm like. Let me know if you like the colour of these. Right, knitwear. Let's move on to knitwear. Oh, I'm going to put my jeans back on, but oh, these are so comfortable, guys. Okay, so with knitwear, I have got four pieces of statement knitwear to show you, all of which I'm completely in love with. We're going to start off with this one, big Bambi style jumper. It's got a big deer on it. It's so cute. I know this won't be for everyone, but oh my god, I love this. I saw it in Topshop when I was shopping with my sister the other day, and I walked past it and I was like, oh no, no, I don't need that. I'll never wear it. It's cute, but like, no. Then I saw it on a mannequin and I was like, oh, it looks really cool. My sister was still like, no, you won't wear it. It's got a big deer on it. You'll be all self conscious. Then I saw it again on another mannequin and I was like, I need it and she was like fair enough it looks really cool so I bought it I haven't tried it on yet because I wanted to do that with you guys and see how ridiculous I would look but I just think it's so cute it's really thick because it's got this pattern on the front which is all knitted in so it has to have all of the different colors behind so it's really really thick on the front not on the back it'll keep your chest really warm which is good because I'm a big believer in keeping your chest warm to keep away coughs not that I can talk because I'm constantly ill, but you know what I mean. Maybe this will help me. I got, oh, I've been so bad at telling you guys the prices and the sizing. Wow, I am sorry. <laughs> I'll pop all the sizes that I've got below. So this one is a 10, so I didn't oversize in this, and this one is 45 pounds. Oh, the question is, guys, will my bun last till the end of the video? It's already starting to go. So this is it, and oh my God, I love it. <laughs> It's so cute. Do you guys like this? What are your thoughts? I mean, it's totally ridiculous, but I'm kind of here for that. It's like a Christmas jumper without being like, whoa, it's Christmas in November. It's kind of like, I'm getting ready for the big, obnoxious Christmas jumpers, but I'm just kind of filling it with a deer rather than a reindeer, you know? So what do you guys think? Do you love it, hate it? Let me know below. The deer discussion starts in the comments. <laughs> oh dear. You can just comment, oh dear, if you don't like it. <laughs> Or if you do like it, you can be like, oh dear, exclamation mark. Right, I'm going to stop. I'm kind of losing it today. It tucks in really nicely. It's nice and thick. Oh, keep getting caught on my ring, which is so cute, by the way. Look at that. How cute is that ring? Hello. Uh, this is from Rosie Fortescue, actually. I went and bought that the other day. Anyway, right. Now we're going to move on to this super oversized, chunky knit in this bright blue colour. I don't have anything in this colour at the moment. I love this. It's so, like, granny style knitting. I got this in a medium. Keep away from fire. Why do they put that on things? Obviously. Don't throw your jumpers on the fire and then be slightly upset when they burnt. It's just ridiculous. It might be a bit bright for me, actually. Fit wise, oh, it's dirty. This is going back. Look at that. Can you see the dirt? Fit wise, I love it. Love this oversized fit. Colour wise, not sure. I think it's too bright for me. But the other thing is, I don't really get this kind of tulip thing. It looks like a really unflattering way of highlighting where your boobs should be. It makes me look like I've got really saggy boobs. So, I think I'm going to have to say no to this one. I just wanted to show you this kind of style. If this was in a black or if in a, or in a white, I would have been like, oh my god, I love it. It's a bit too bright for this time of year and we're kind of moving more into neutral tones. I don't really have anything that this would go with, so I'm just going to take it off. And we're going to go into this jumper. I wore this in my Chloe unboxing. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that because it's literally just me squealing for 12 minutes about how much I love a new bag. So make sure you head over and see that. I wore this jumper in it and I'm obsessed with this jumper. It is orange with like this kind of gingerbread colour. It's just so me. It's like a Dennis the Menace chunky knit and I love it. And it's so soft. It's so snuggly. Absolutely love the oversized sleeves on this. This is just something that I get, I've already got so much use out of it. I've already worn it about four times. I've only had it for seven days. <laughs> Looks great with a pair of jeans. I also wore it with black mum jeans the other day. Because we're on a gingerbread vibe right now, it would look so cute with the gingerbread coat. I mean, they're slightly different shades, but that's fine. Or it would look really cute with this H&M one, like that. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Um, so, and then I would wear this with like my black Chloe bag, which is in there. Oh, I want to show her to you if you've missed her. No, just go and watch the unboxing. I'll link it above and below. Love the red. It's so festive. This kind of has like a gold shimmery vibe to it. It is basically a Christmas jumper. So, you know, go forth and buy it if you would like it. One more jumper to show you and then some accessories and then we're done for the week. Let's go on to this. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes. Is it a big slogan jumper? Yes. Do I have too many jumpers? Yes. How are we doing with the bun? Is it still there? I can't really see. Yes. I love this. 
seriously love this. I think it's so over the top, it's so statement, it's such a slogan, it's literally like, yes! Now I just need one that says no when I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm like, no, no. But this is really cool, I really like this. And I think this looks great with a pair of blue jeans, but I would probably style it with, oh actually, I would style it with this little corduroy number. I think that would look really, really cute with a black leather jacket and some black little ankle boots. So yeah, what do you think about this? I quite like the high neck. Again, I haven't told you the price or the size. What is wrong with me today? I'm too excited. I got this one in a tent. I think it's 39 pounds. Let me know what you think about this one. What's your favorite piece of clothing so far? Before we go into accessories, let me know below. Or just write yes or oh dear. It's literally my favourite thing when I say things throughout the video and I'm like, ask a question and then you guys like answer that question in the comments because then I know you've watched the video and I'm like, oh my god, it blows my mind that you guys are actually watching. It, I, I just, it's just, I can't even, anyway, I'm not going to get into it now, but like, hi. Let's go into accessories now. Oh, it's such a miserable day outside, but I have the perfect scarf for the miserable day. This is from ASOS and I've been eyeing this up for ages. I didn't think I needed it, but then I caved and I bought it last week. It's the most gorgeous, like kind of grape color, but just like a mal grape color. It looks incredible with gray. I love this outfit. It just adds like a really, really nice pop of color. Any of the coats with this scarf and this jumper would look unreal what do you think about this one love the tassels i like that it's not like too much of a blanket scarf i've got so many blanket scarves i live in and they are perfect for keeping you really warm but they're also sometimes a bit too much this is great if you're wearing like a little jacket or something and you can also if you want to wear it long it just comes down to your knees let me know two pairs of shoes to show you one bag and then we're done this is the bag it's from primark it i haven't actually opened it properly yet i love this it's got such a gucci vibe um the gucci ones they have obviously the gucci logo there but they both have the suede bit here and the leather bit down the middle and lots of space inside one zip pocket and one little pocket for cards and this one was only eight pounds so i love this such a good little basic shoes I've been eyeing up these boots in Topshop for about a month and a half now and whenever I go in, they are never ever in my size. I oh, know, feet go that way around, Jessica. I found them the other day, the last pair of fives that I could see. I will see if they are linked online, if they're still in stock online. They are this kind of burgundy croc print style and they just look beautiful. They're patent and they're shiny and I love them. They would look so cute with this outfit. So happy that I found these. These are £36 as well, so really good value for a pair of really nice boots. Last up, an item that I do not need. I mean, I don't need any of this stuff, but this is something that I really don't need. It's another pair of white trainers. <laughs> but I have an addiction. So these are from Reebok and I love them because they've got little orange detail on the front. Can you see? And then they've got the orange Reebok sign here. I love Reebok trainers. They are so comfortable. I have a pair that I bought a year and a half ago. I have worn heels the night before or if I've got blisters from a pair of boots I will without fail wear my Reeboks the next day as like a cushion massage while I'm walking around. So I picked up these hoping these would be the same. These are leather, my other ones are suede so these are good when it rains as it is today. Don't know how much these were but I will link everything below. I really like them. So yes that is everything from me today. Thank you so so much for watching and for getting to the end of this video. If you have I love you so much. I can't even explain how much I'm enjoying YouTube. Those of you that comment on my videos those of you that watch them that like them that interact with me that send me instagram dms it's completely changing my world it's a bit extreme but i genuinely feel like you guys are my friends like i like look forward to filming these videos and i love posting them and the comments coming in and i'm like oh, i love you guys hi any questions you ever have send them to me on instagram pop them below tweet them to me i will link my twitter my instagram and everything below please don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying and yeah i've got so much fun content coming up sunday is an h m haul make sure you're here for that but then i have so much more content planned that's not just hauls and so much christmas content as well thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video on sunday bye guys